Okay, well, I'm officially making this video because some lad here just a couple of hours ago notated that he was waiting for a firmware update vid on a video I had uploaded three months ago. So I guess, I guess I'm officially making the firmware update vid. Now, I was very hesitant to do this because firmware is, well, kind of sketchy. You know, you can brick your thing. So only do this. If there's a feature you're missing and you absolutely need it, like the set fan control in my previous video. All right, but I'm just going to go over real quick of the, the methods for updating the firmware. One, you can download the Dell executable from their site. Uh, let me go ahead and pull that up. If I have it somewhere. Okay, you can just go to dell.com. You know what, just search, you know, uh, Dell... MD-1200 firmware, and it should eventually get you there. Well, it's a disgusting thing, but hey, that's okay. So, PowerVolt MD-1200, uh, drivers and downloads, uh, whatever operating system is most applicable to you, uh, you're probably going to be running Windows, I presume. Uh, if not, I'd recommend just installing Windows just to do this. If you have a Dell Perk H810 or H810 Plus or A or or H800, whatever. If you have a Dell Perk H8, H800 or H810, uh, this would be one way of doing it. You just go to firmware, uh, go ahead and category. It is going to be device firmware right here the EMM firmware, you're going to download this. Once you've downloaded it, uh, go ahead. You'll have this executable. Now, if you have the perk card, all you got to do is just hit install. Blammo, it's going to just automatically do it if you have the right per uh, perk card. If you do not have the perk card, you're going to want to extract it. Um, here, by default, it de uh, it'll extract to program data, Dell, firmware, 3W, 1PG. I've already done this. Uh, you can close out of here. Go, go ahead. Uh, it's already there. We all know where it's at located. So it's uh, C again, program data, Dell, firmware, payload, and that's the firmware. That's the bin file that you need to use. That is the firmware. Now, uh, you're also going to need another software to actually do it. So just regular putty is not going to do it. You're going to need... Uh, where is... The start menu is garbage. So let me go ahead and search putty. Right? I get putty. That's the only option that shows up. Uh, let me go to program files here because apparently my Windows is garbage and search is broken. So we're going to go to Program Files, I believe. Where's Extra Putty? You need to install Extra Putty. Google it. I presume you're going to be capable of figuring out <laughs> the, the software for getting Extra Putty. Uh, where is my... <clears throat> okay. So I believe I have extra putty running now. There we go. Uh, you know you have extra putty because it has these additional options and stuff. Uh, the biggest thing that's important is file transfer because this is going to be an X modem file transfer and you're just going to have to have that. Uh, where was I? All right, so this will be serial. My system is connected to COM2. Just type in whatever the COM port is that you're plugged into on your, your server. If you watch the first video, presumably you kind of figured that out. Uh, what is my configurations again for this? 38400. This is why I make YouTube videos, is so that I can remember what configurations I used. All right, so you're going to go ahead and connect. Go ahead and hit open. You're going to hit enter. Yep. We're good. So we are connected to the machine. We're going to hit file transfer. Make sure you hit X modem here. You're going to hit send. You're going to need to find that file pathing. This PC. Uh, we're going to go to where is program data? 
Dell firmware 3W1PG payload bin. You're going to hit open. Uh, that is going to start your firmware update. You can verify if your firmware has updated successfully by doing underscore ver. Now, the system, when you're doing the firmware update, it should automatically restart. I'm not going to do it uh, because my system is fully up to date, and the only time I ever recommend doing a firmware update is one, if it's missing a feature or it's broken <laughs> and you need to fix something. If it's working in every way that you need it to, I do not recommend updating the firmware. If you break your machine, you break it. Then again, if you have two cards in there, uh, two in my previous video where I showed you both of them, if you have two cards in those, technically you got two shots to do it. But hey, it's not my fault if you brick your machine. But that, that is what you're going to want to do. Uh, you can tell which uh, firmware version right here. So it says Dell version. Uh, this one's actually on, it looks like an older version. Okay. You can see which one's active though. So it says image region two, and that's the current active firmware version. But uh, apparently image region zero and one are still on the older ones. I'm not worried about those. I'm not gonna touch them. It does everything that I need it to. I managed to update the firmware with just the executable package because I have a perk 810. Uh, hopefully, again, this video is useful to somebody. Uh, if not, well, meh, who cares? This is for me anyways. And that one guy who left that comment after a three-month-old video.